Hello, it's Candice from Ring One Technology Consulting Limited. I am Candice. Today, the topic of the video is about common question of how to export feed to China. First, what does the overseas manufacturer need to apply when they want to export feed to China? Answer. If the overseas manufacturer wants to export their feed or feed additives to China, they need to apply two qualifications. First is the Ministry of Agriculture in China. They will issue the registered license. The second one is the General Administration of Customs of China. They will issue a list for overseas manufacturing for foreign. Second, what difference about the Ministry of Agriculture registered license and the, the customs work list? These are different regulatory authorities. And the Ministry of Agriculture is mainly care about your products. And the China customers is mainly care about your plants. So it's different regulation department. Third, does the canned pet food and snacks of pet food can export to China directly? Actually, the manufacturer need to apply the China Customs GACC tool. Fourth, how many countries got the pet food exports list in China Customs? Answer, there are 19 countries got the permits from China Customs and totally about 100 manufacturing got the permits. The fifth, that the trading company can apply the Ministry of Agriculture Registered License and China Customs List, GCC. Answer, no. The China government's regulation, it must be applied to the manufacturing. Six, what's the flow chart about applying the Ministry of Agriculture License? Answer. First, you need to prepare all the documents and submit the documents. The China Ministry of Agriculture will audit the documents, then they will ask you to prepare the sample for retest if the documents is authorities. If you pass the retest, your product will be issued by the Ministry of Agriculture. It totally will cost about four months. Seven. What's the validity of the Ministry of Agriculture registered license? Answer. It will have five years validity. When expired, you need to renew it before six months. Eight. Does the different product need to apply the different registered license from China Ministry of Agriculture? Answer. Yes, different product need to apply different different registered license because the ingredients is different. Next, what the standards to evaluate whether belong one product. If the package is different, but the ingredients is same, that is one product. But if the ingredients is changed, that belong the different products. Tenth, does the OEM, the brand owner or agent, won't reflect your, their name on the registered license? Is it okay? Answer, no. The registered license only reflects the manufacturer's name and the product's name. I will give you a sample at the last. Today we will end over here. See you next time.